Right guys, it's not Super Saturday anymore, it's Super Sunday, I got up a bit late, so go on to have a brunch. Now what I'm going to make today is an omelette, but it's an omelette with scrambled egg and, and cheese inside. And we're not going to put the tomatoes in the omelette, we're going to rest the omelette on a bed of tomatoes and then we're going to spice it up a little bit. So the first thing I want to do is make a, a chilli sauce. Now this chilli sauce, you know, we don't we don't have to use it all now. What's left over we can put in the fridge and it's good for another five, five, seven, even up to ten days. And you can use this for other things on pasta and everything. So the first thing I want to do is make the chilli sauce. Well, I've got an assortment of chilies there. Uh, uh, most of them are the hot ones because that's normally what I've got and one not so hot. So what we're going to do, we want to take the heat away from them to use this because otherwise it's too spicy, too hot and we just really want to taste the fruits rather than taste the hotness of it. So what I'm going to do is then get the chilies, okay, and what I'll do is I'll take off the ends, because we don't want the ends of the chilies, we'll take all the ends off, move those out the way, oh that's a big one isn't it there, we'll move that out the way, so we'll get all these ends off, because what we're then going to do, get an assortment of chilies. These ones are all hot ones. You can get various chilies, obviously. And then what I'm going to do now is split these down the middle. See, look, they're full of peppers, aren't they? I'm going to split all of these down the middle. And what I'm going to then do is, with a spoon, with a spoon, I'm going to remove all the seeds. Take the heat away. Like I say, we want the flavours of the chilies. Right, now we've de-seeded the chilies to take the heat away. What we're going to do, we're going to cut them up really, really fine. So that they're chopped up in very, very small pieces. That's your final the other note for this one. Now remember, after you've been handing the chilies, not to forget to wash your hands. Because if you touch your face, you will learn the hard way a bit following the government guidelines of not touching your face especially if you get it around the eyes oh my so let's get these chopped up like I say in lots of small pieces Right, there's the chilies. What we're going to do now, add a little bit of salt, and then we're going to add a couple of teaspoonfuls of oil, not too much. There, I think that should be enough, and then we're going to squeeze. In this case, I'm putting in just half, half a lemon. If you made twice this amount, you'd need a full lemon. So there we are. We've got the oil and the lemon with the chilies together. We're going to give that a little bit of a mix up. Okay, look. And there we have our chilli sauce. Okay, so we won't be using all of that, so we'll keep that in the fridge. It will last easily five days, even longer if it's covered. So, 
we've got the chilli sauce done. We're going to put that to one side. Because now we're going to prepare the second part of our brunch this morning. What we're going to do now is chop up some tomatoes. Now I'm not going to put the tomatoes in the omelette. We're going to lay these out on a plate, make a tomato salad, and we'll lay our super scrambled egg omelette on a bed of tomatoes. We're going to add we'll see, a bit of salt to the tomatoes. We also want to add some basil, some fresh basil. Oh, that smells nice. Though. Put a few, just rip up some basil leaves to put them on there. Oh, when you break them up, the smell gets you. Okay, and then just a small drizzle of oil over it. You could add a bit of oregano if you wanted, but I think the basil is enough. There we are. So there we have a straightforward tomato salad, which we're going to put our super duper omelette on. So we'll just move that out of the way and we'll get ready to make the omelette. The omelette is, it's a very simple dish, this, but there is a technique needed for the omelette. So let's get the, the omelette mixed together. Right, now we're going to put the eggs together. Four eggs, obviously, if there was four of you, or even three of you, you'd probably up that to six eggs. But, but for now, there's only the three of us, what, two of us, actually, because I don't think, I don't think how she's going to eat this. So we're going to have four eggs. There we go. Splash of milk, not too much. Okay. Add a bit of salt. Remember, got to have salt in there. And we're going to stir that up and whip it up just to make the... There we are, we're a bit ready for that. I think we can go over now to the cooking process. As I say, we're going to do this a little bit different. So it should be fun. If I get it together, I don't know. I'm not always successful on this one, but we'll see. Right, that's it. Put the pan on the flame. Knob of butter. Get that melting up a little bit. Remember, you've always got to go careful with the heat with eggs. That's the problem. If it's done too hot, too quick, it doesn't work out. Well, there you are. The butter's starting to melt up now. So what we can do now, we can now put the mix in with that. At the moment, it's a hot flame, but we're going to remove the pan from the flame in a minute anyway. So there we are. In goes the mix. And what we're going to do now, as that starts to solidify, as such, we're going to so sort of like whip it up into a like, a, like like you would with scrambled egg. There you are, starting to whip it, so that's not yet there. You can see it forming around right the outside. You do need a good non-stick pan for this, by the way. Whether this is going to work, I don't know. It's not always successful. See, look, it's starting to solidify so what's happening there we're just moving moving it around as if you'd be making scrambled egg we've got to time this right there's the butter mixing up see it wicks up together like that. Starting to come together now. Just like scrambled egg. But very soon we're going to have to stop.
Okay, we're almost there. Right, what we've got to do now, turn the heat down very quick. This is the difficult part now. What we're gonna do is chuck a bit of cheese on. Should have done that before actually. A little bit of cheese, put it in the middle. Not to be nice and before because it'll be nice and melted up. And then we're going to sort of like just tuck that in on itself, like that. See? Tuck that in on itself. But now the difficult part is we've got to try and move this down. So just giving it a bit of a shake like that, you see it, it starts to move down. Because we've now got to start tucking itself back on itself, like that. Which isn't that easy. Move it away from the heat because we don't want it. the residual heat will cook that the rest of that. See the cheese is melting up inside. It's firming up. As you can see, I've got it away from the heat. Although, so now we have basically an omelette with scrambled egg inside in a jacket. Okay. Now we'll just leave that there. The residual heat will just finish that off a little bit. You can see I cooked it a little bit too quick with a little bit too much heat because it's brained up. That's the butter, believe it or not. So, anyway, we'll switch that off and we'll go back to serving this. Here we're going to serve it. And believe me, it will look lovely. Okay, here we are with the omelette on the edge of the pan. And this is the difficult bit because normally I do this the other way with a. Uh, uh, but for the sake of the video. So what we've got to try and do now is flip that over there on top. Can you see that? So we've got the omelette here on top of the bed of tomato salad. Now that looks really, really lovely, doesn't it? Look, so that's coming. Tomatoes underneath, got the omelette on the top. What we're now going to do is we're just going to cut see cut down the middle there like that and open it slightly look because inside and you see inside that we've got the scrambled eggs with the cheese and what we're now going to do is take our chili sauce that we made the one that we've taken the heat away and we're just going to Drizzle a little bit of that down the middle first of all, and then a little bit over the sides, a little bit of chilli like that, take a little bit of the oil with it as well, there we go, and doesn't that look nice, and just to finish off I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of pepper. Ah, voila! There we have a scrambled egg omelette. Covered in a chilli sauce. Now what I'm going to eat that with, I've still got some of that potato salad left over from Super Saturday. But this is also nice with toast, white bread, especially the crusty bread, can't go wrong. It's either a breakfast, in this case it's a brunch, looks absolutely lovely, I can't wait to get stuck into it. So that's it guys, that's it, remember to like, share and and uh, comment and press notifications and everything. I hope you enjoyed this meal. It's a very simple meal. The technique is in the cooking. Anyway, all of you look after yourselves, stay safe and uh, keep following. Take care. Bye now.